Hey guys, if you are a bookkeeper who has wanted to get some more practice, I have some ideas for you in this video. My name is Morgan, my website is finepoints.biz and it has tons of resources for bookkeepers who want to get started. So I have a free masterclass that you can watch if you're wondering if bookkeeping is right for you. I also have this chart about where to even start bookkeeping. And today we're going to specifically be talking about QuickBooks Online and using the sample company in QuickBooks Online. So most of this video will be a screen record and I'll show you around in QuickBooks. But first I'm going to talk about some pros and cons of the sample company. So the first pro is that it's totally free for you to use. So I recommend you use QuickBooks Online Accountant version if you're a bookkeeper because it's free for you to do your own bookkeeping and then you can see all your clients listed within there. And so within there you just go to the gear icon and then the sample company and it'll switch right over. So obviously the main huge pro is that you get to be in here and play around and you're not messing up like your clients books or your own books or anything like that. And some of the cons you need to be aware of. So the main thing is that this work does not save. So if you do a bunch of work in it, make a bunch of invoices and stuff and you log out the next time you log in, those are not going to be there. It's just going to have like the, again, the base sample company stuff in there. And I guess I didn't mention this, but it does come loaded with all this information. So it has a bunch of transactions in there. You can work on matching and categorizing. So the data that's already in there is very helpful. And the two other cons I would say, first of all, you're a little bit at the mercy of QuickBooks so they can switch stuff around anytime. Sometimes they use the sample company to like try out new things, which doesn't really bother me, but just so you know. And there are some functions that you cannot do. Like last time I was trying to, I was making a video and I was trying to upload an Excel document into the bank feeds and it wouldn't let me upload a document. So things like that, occasionally it's gonna say, oh no, we, you can't do this in the sample company but it's still pretty good for a free resource. And I'm pretty sure this gives you the advanced plus version, I think it's called, I might have the name wrong, but it gives you like a pretty good version of QuickBooks. So you can see a lot of that functionality that you might have to pay for otherwise. You can use it with your bookkeeping clients. Like if you wanna show them how to do something, you can work in the sample company and be like, okay, here's how you create this invoice if someone in their office is doing it. And I will talk quickly about the fact that doesn't save your work. So if you do need a practice resource that saves your work, I have a couple other ideas for you. So first of all, you could pay for a subscription to QuickBooks Online. I think almost always they give you like a free month trials. So if you just wanna tinker around for a month, you could maybe even get a new email address and sign up for a free trial. Or I know bookkeepers who just pay like the, I think it's like $30 a month or something, just so that they can have that resource either to try things out or to teach or to learn. So I was always like, that seems so weird to pay for something, but really if you think of it as a business expense in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that much money. You could also use your existing free account that you have with QuickBooks Online Accountant. Again, you might run the risk of like messing up your books, but you can pretty much undo anything that you do. It just takes a little bit of effort sometimes. So if you, you know, upload 50 transactions and you play around with them, then you can just delete those 50 transactions. I mean, it might even be worth it to like play around with it, mess it up, and then like start fresh in like a new QuickBooks Online Accountant account. I don't know if that's totally recommended, but just an idea. If it's a really simple business and you just want to kind of learn basic bookkeeping, um, don't be afraid to use a spreadsheet if you're not ready for QuickBooks Online. I'll leave a video linked down below from a YouTuber who has a really good tutorial about that. Her YouTube name is Realistic Bookkeeping. And then the other thing I want to mention is QuickBooks Desktop. So this is actually what I learned on and in QuickBooks Desktop, they do have really good sample companies with lots of data in there and you do not lose your work when you log out. So if you're someone that is using desktop and online, that could be a really good option for you. I wouldn't necessarily say that it would make sense to buy QuickBooks Desktop just for the sample company if you're planning to use mostly online because the two platforms are different enough that I don't think it would be worth it for you to learn QuickBooks online by using desktop. All right, so now we can hop into the sample company. I'll show you how to find it and all of the cool stuff it can do. Here I am in my QuickBooks Online Accountant account. So just a reminder, I, if you're a bookkeeper, you should be using QuickBooks Online Accountant version, not the regular version. And then if I clicked here, you could see all of my clients. So there's like a list of each of my clients and then I can go into their QuickBooks. Also, if you click on this drop down right here, you can see all my clients and go directly to their books. And within account, the accountant version, I can also work on my books. So that's where I am right now. So if I pulled any of these reports, it would be my bookkeeping business. So that being said, the sample company, you just go to the gear and then sample company right there. And then um, you, it tells you you're signed out. And if you wanna get back into where you were, you have to re-put in your password. 
So it opens it up in its Craig's design and landscaping services. So a fake business. And like I said, it has tons of data in here already. So if you go to the bank tab, the banking tab, um, it has a checking account. Oh, and then this might help you as well. Um, you can take, you know, there's a video you can watch or you can take a tour where it like, you know, has you click on different things to, you know, teach you about them. So I don't even, I've never even watched this, but um, basically it has this, how many minutes is this four minute video um, and it's how to categorize transactions. So that could really be helpful. Um, so take note of that. And then um, this has a checking account, a savings account and a credit card. And look, it has 25 transactions. These are all the transactions that are waiting for you to be put into your books, into your QuickBooks. These fed in through a fictional bank account and they you can practice categorizing these. So you can practice um, going in here, maybe creating a vendor. So let's call this rental and let's add it and save it. And then this is an uncategorized income. This is, I don't know, whatever you want it to be, promotional. Oh, this is money coming in, I guess. So it's some kind of income, I guess. So it's design income. I don't know. Whatever you want to do it. You can just play around. You can add stuff to it. And then if you add a bunch of these and then you go to the bank register, you can see that those things are actually in there. So this is what I just added, um, design income. And you can see the vendor that I just added. from rental. So anyways, you can see stuff is really being added. You can play around with the reconciliation window. I have another video that I just made that was um, kind of going more into how to reconcile. And so I'll leave that link down below for you. It was like level one uh, services you should provide as a bookkeeper. Um, and again, it gives you little tutorials that you could definitely take advantage of. So then you can just make up an ending balance and an ending date and then start reconciling. And then, you know, it'll show you how when you click these, this number changes. You want that number to be zero. What else? So yeah, basically you get the point, but anything in here, you know, here's the reports. You can pull all these reports and play around with them. You can look into payroll if that is something that you're interested in figuring out for your clients. I do not offer payroll through QuickBooks. Um, my clients ha can have a payroll company or have QuickBooks as their payroll company, but I don't actually do manual payroll into QuickBooks. So you can create invoices um, like this new, this plus tab is a good one to know what's under here. So if you want a new invoice for a customer, you can create that. Let's see what customers they have in here already. Uh, so Amy's Bird Sanctuary, maybe she um, did concrete for her and then it costs five hundred dollars and then that'll actually create an invoice if you save it and then you can practice you know applying a payment to that say that they paid you and you want to receive that payment and play around with all of this and see how that goes into the bank so I hope you guys have fun in the sample company. Let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions for how to get um, some experience within QuickBooks because I know that is challenging for a lot of people. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget a thumbs up really does help me out a lot. Let me know in the comments if you like the sample company, if you're gonna try it out.